Hey, everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel as we look at the players that have the best opportunity or gives you the best opportunity to win some money over the FanDuel Sportsbook as we are checking out the NFL regular season passing yard leaders. What's happening, Tom? I'm doing good. You know, it's a passing league, as they said, so you might as well put some bets in on the overall season leaders this year. It is most definitely a passing league, and we're going to try to figure out, well, which of these quarterbacks have the best chance to lead that passing league. Let's begin in Atlanta, where Matt Ryan has the weapons, certainly, with Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley and now Tom Gurley. Dirk Cutter loves to throw the football. Well, Matt Ryan in position here in 2020 at plus 800. Seems like a good bet. Yeah, this one shouldn't come as too much of a surprise. Plus 800, the third best odds on the board. And if we look back historically, this is a player who's been near the top or at the top in several of the re recent years. He's been over 4,000 yards in each of the last 10 years. He's been over 4,900 yards twice in that time. He was fifth last season in total yards, third the year before, sixth the year before. Like, it all makes sense. And this is nothing new for anyone who's been following the NFL. The Falcons like to pass. Uh, and I think that this is a reasonable bet and one of the more probable bets that you should be looking at. If we look at our projections that we have on number fire for Matt Ryan, we actually have him for 4,700 yards, which would lead the league, number one overall quarterback in the league, for yards. Not the number one overall quarterback in fantasy, simply just for yards. They still don't have an amazing defense. They're going to have a positive great game script a lot of the time. Ryan's going to be airing the ball out like usual, plus 800 for a passing leader of the year. You know, I actually just had to look up if Dan Quinn was still the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons, because I have no idea how he still has a job. But it's good for us, because when Dirk Cutter is there and Dan Quinn are there, Matt Ryan and the Falcons have to throw the football because they're always coming from behind anyway. This is a team that loves to throw. We'll see what Todd Gurley could give you this year. I don't know. But passing-wise, we're in a good spot. Matt Ryan, plus 800, is a good number. Let's move on to another Matt and another player that I feel like is super similar to Matt Ryan, and that's Matthew Stafford. I feel like fantasy owners have felt this forever, that you're getting basically the same guy. It's gone Stafford, Ryan, Ryan, Stafford. You get Matt Stafford at plus 1,200, and before he got hurt last year, he was having the best season of his career. If he picks up right where he left off, throwing a Kenny Galladay, throwing a Marvin Jones, throwing a new, new toy TJ Hawkinson, you're in a really good spot, and plus 1,200 is a really tasty number. Like you said, he was having a great year last season, 2,500 yards for the first eight games. And if we can extrapolate that over the full 16-game season, he would be at 5,000 yards, which would have him second in the league behind Jameis. Uh, seemingly every Sunday, the Lions are playing catch-up. And if we can have Stafford healthy this season, we have him projected for 4,487 yards. It's actually only 230 yards less than Matt Ryan. So he's going to be up there year after year with the passing because the Lions defense is just so, so bad. They have the weapons on offense. And even though it's supposedly a run-first offense, if they're playing catch-up every Sunday, you want Matt Stafford at plus 1,200. Absolutely. Not much has changed for the Detroit Lions, certainly offensively. Yeah, you, you bring in DeAndre Swift, but I still think that this is a team that's going to be playing from behind that's going to rely on Matthew Stafford and his arm to be successful. So you're getting this, like I said, at an awesome number, plus 1,200, well worth taking the shot. But if you really want to take a shot, that'll bring you to Arizona, where so many people are high on the Arizona Cardinals offense, high on Kyler Murray. You bring in DeAndre Hopkins. They're talking about 3,000-yard wide receivers with Larry Fitzgerald and Christian Kirk as well. Kenny and Drake, everybody loves to get excited about. But it all stems from the quarterback, and that is Kyler Murray. They run a ton of plays. They uh, execute very, very quickly. Cliff Kingsbury is certainly a fun coach. But Kyler Murray realistically lead the Arizona, lead not just the Arizona the Cardinals, but lead the NFL in passing yards? Well, at, at plus 2,500, if you're getting those odds, I would hope that he could lead the league. And this one is obviously a bit of a long shot, but there are, like you said, those factors are there for the Cardinals to be in situations where they're going to be passing. Last year, he finished with the 15th most passing yards, which is good for a rookie, uh, you know, coming in with a first-year NFL coach with Cl uh, Cliff Kingsbury. Uh, we have him at the 16th best odds at the FanDuel Sportsbook this year. But everything's kind of lining up. Another year with the same head coach and bring in another monster wide receiver with DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, even if a lot of these yards come in junk time, you know, at the end of the fourth quarter, it's still an opportunity there for Kyler Murray. Uh, I'm, I don't want to say I'm banking on it, but I really like the long-term prospect of Kyler Murray with DeAndre Hopkins, with the coaching scheme, with the air raid, all of the passing, even when they have Kenyon Drake, they're still using him as a passing option. So I like Arizona, like Kyler Murray, and the odds are simply amazing. 
Murray's plus 2,500, like you said, unbelievable odds there. And it's an offense you want to get behind. It's one that you are excited about, and, and it's one that we're hoping is fun to watch on a Red Zone Sunday. We'll certainly be tuned in to the Arizona Cardinals, especially if we bet Kyler Murray at plus 2,500. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Tom, we appreciate the time. Good luck with these bets. Same to you. Absolutely. We'll hear more from Tom next week. But coming up tomorrow, Jim Sanos will join me as we take a look around Major League Baseball. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.